Okay. What do we see here? Let's start it at all. Ram gold fingers. With some copper chloride. Okay. I think you know where we're going with this. Okay, but what we're going to do first is we're going to do a simple experiment of how much, you know, this is pretty concentrated. It's been sitting here a couple of weeks. It's nice, it's got a nice color to it. Okay, it's almost syrupy, which I like. I think it's, it's just got a real nice color to it. Copper 2 chloride. Now we've done, of course, uh, vinegar and sea salt to death. We know that works as far as, you know, hobby time stuff like Ram Goldfingers. But we're going to take, take a sample. We're just going to lay them in a solution. And we're going to see how long it takes, okay, for these Ram Goldfingers to start separating. Just sitting. I did put three milliliters of hydrogen peroxide in this because it was turning you know, uh, pretty black, but uh, you see what I see. After two hours, it sat here for two hours. That was it. And the gold foils are just falling off of it. <laughs> okay. I think you know where this is going now. We're gonna go full scale. We got about 50 grams worth over here. We're gonna go ahead and get us a vessel reaction vessel we're going to load up then we're just going to let them set overnight look at that two hours this is so much better than you know uh, vinegar and sea salt or this is on par with poor man's nitric acid of you know some potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid okay to strip this off which I saw I can't remember the name of the channel but the guy it was just brilliant how he did it to strip these foils off. This just set in the solution with three milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Give it a little oxygen. Okay, so we're going to get us a reaction vessel going and uh, we're going to load these up. Real quick, you can see the just the sheer stripping power that this copper chloride solution has. So I think this is right out. 450 grams okay of material I'm not real sure how much copper chloride solution we're going to need for this so we'll just cover it up we're just going to let it set that's it that's all we're going to do so we'll be back in a couple of hours to see what it does okay it's not been two minutes you can already see it getting darker. So, this is going to be very heavily saturated with the uh, copper bonding material. Okay, which is what we want. But I went ahead and put an aerator in it. Not to necessarily bubble it, but just to give it a steady supply of oxygen. Okay, so I don't have to add so much hydrogen peroxide because with the residual, uh, or a lot of, hydrochloric acid that is present in this material. Okay, you could theoretically create aqua regia and put this stuff in a solution. I've never seen it done before, but technically it's possible. Okay, so anyways, this is gonna work very well. We're just really keeping the oxygen port to it. And uh, we're gonna keep it off the heat for now. And excuse my voice, the allergies have about got me. The pollen has destroyed me in this area. but. We'll do the best we can. So, we'll be back in a couple of hours to check on it. All right. You can see that's pretty much jet black like coffee. I did put 40 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide in this already. And about 20 milliliters of distilled water. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put more peroxide in this or not. I did add another probably 40, 40 milliliters of uh, concentrated uh, best old timey brand copper chloride right here in the bag. And we have very, very awesome 
Very awesome. Gold full separation. I would say another four hours. I'm making a bold statement. We have about a 30% separation now. I'm going to say we have an 80% separation in four more hours. So it's six hours total. Six hours. I think everybody should use this. You don't have to use no nitric acid to recover your your gold in, you know, in, in a hobby setting. This is a hobby gold recovery here. Okay. But we've proven that you can uh, recover gold-filled items. Gold plate items, even. Okay. So... It's, it's a wonderful uh, uh, it's a wonderful substance you have to use use it outside or in a proper fume hood okay you cannot let this stuff set around metal of any type the fumes itself will corrode anything and everything it comes into contact with so you know you have to be careful with this stuff and, uh, but anyway four more hours. I'm predicting 80% gold separation or more. 80%. So, we'll see. All right, excuse all the noise. We put another 40 milliliters of, uh, of the copper 2 chloride into this solution and another 20 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. It did not t change the oxidation state. It's still very, very, very black, but it has been one and a half hours since our last update, so we're looking at three and a half hours total in, and we, <laughs> it's amazing, three and a half hours in, and uh, we have uh, better than 70% stripped in three and a half hours, and we're just using, excuse the noise, our old nebulizer to aerate. To bombard this with O2 oxygen, and it seems to be working. So, I don't know, I can't everything over. You can clearly see the the the, the wonderfulness, all that goodness of the little sparkly stuff. All gold foils. So we have two and a half more hours. We will achieve the 80 percent plus. Okay, of gold full separation on these ram fingers. Our copper two chloride, we was waiting for this to kind of, I guess, be the grand finale experiment. As a, you know, a lot of hobbyists love to play with these gold ram fingers. They're easy to strip, easy to recover. You don't get a lot of gold off of them. But all right, we're at four and a half hours. And this is just outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah, very little gold foils remain. Four and a half hours, not six. And eh, we're at 70%. Who's out here and just mix these up? And agitated them. And agitate them, I should say. We're talking less than, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it that time frame. Six hours. For four and a half hours, another hour and a half, we would definitely be beyond our 80% of gold full recovery. That's what copper chloride does. The best old timey brand, Kentucky Colonels, copper chloride, copper two chloride to be exact. All right, this is going to be excellent for the hobbyist. Again, the copper two chloride, you know, is just performing outstanding. It's just, it's it's a, an invaluable tool in the hobbyist tool chest. Okay, for gold recovery, but you still say hobbyist. Okay, you're not going to make any money, you know, doing this. But we're getting close to where the price of gold is getting high enough. If you do have a decent stash of electronic scrap, you may make a buck or two. It's very possible. And the less not, you know, nitric acid you could use, the better. Okay. The less you can use, the better. So this enables you to use no nitric acid in the recovery phase. All right. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll finish this up. All right. 
it is the next day. I'll we'll secure this bubbler here. It is properly hot in this garage. I do not have the AC on. And it looks like we are 100% stripped now. I, I, I figured we would be. After using the uh, our, our copper 2 chloride solution. Next, we're going to filter this all out. Okay. And let's say it's going to be rightfully nasty. Now, we want to filter this out good because we want to not dilute this. So I can't really use the uh, my normal math method of filtering out uh, uh, the gold foil. So I'm going to have to filter it out with some filter paper. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to go low-fi here. This sucker here, the shot's not very good, not very wide, but it doesn't really matter. Now, I really don't want to dilute this solution because I'm going to run another 50 grams through this without recycling the type of, uh, copper two chloride. As you can see right there, we're going to we'll have a nice harvest of, of gold foils. So once we get most of all, all the solution, we'll transfer this over to another, another flask or beaker or whatever, another container. And uh, if I've got one, then we'll go from there. Doesn't really matter. We'll use a hillbilly reaction vessel here. A good old nasty mason jar. 100% stripped. No doubt about it. We're just trying to get you to, to be excited about some other method other than using, you know, nitric acid. Copious amounts of nitric acid. It's expensive. It, you know, you have to have a professional setup to deal with the, uh, you know, the nitrogen dioxide gas. You know, there's so many drawbacks to using copious amounts of nitric acid. You know, number one, it's expensive. And if you ever hoped to, you know, as an advanced hobby to make a dollar or two off of this, off of this stuff, you're never going to do it using nitric to recover. You have to use nitric to refine. I just think it's better, it's easier, it's quicker, it's safer than using bleach, okay, to refine. So yeah, yes, nitric acid to refine, but not for recoveries. Two different two different processes here. Okay, so as soon as we get this all filtered out, we'll be back. All right. I don't feel like processing another 50 grand, but there is a, a six hour yield of gold, ram, you know, the gold fools off of ram fingers. Uh, you know, that is, uh, that is, that's, that's a record. We've never done it, you know, 50 grams in six hours. Okay. Well, there you go. So we're going to call it a day. That is a great, wonderful yield, 50 grams. I mean, you know, a strip clean. The occasional straggler, you see one right there. Okay. But it's, for the most part, 99.5% stripped in six hours. You can't beat that. With any stick you come up with, you can't beat that. And we're going to try to outdo ourselves, not using nitric acid. That's the goal here. That's, that's been the theme of our little series of gold recovery lately, is you know recovering, recovering gold, not using nitric acid. I think it's a wonderful goal. 